Hello my Whoop friends. Let's talk about Whoop motors. I want to share my experience with you because I have over 10 years of RC flying experience and over 3 years of Whoop racing experience and I flew almost every motor on the market. This is why my experience with Whoop motors is quite high in every size. Seminal 2 size, 802 size, 803 size, 1002 size, 1102 size and 1103 size. In my opinion, high kV motors like this 0802 27,000 kV motor are the way to go for maximum power and maximum torque and also for efficiency. But you need or at least for efficiency in fast racing. But you need to know some secrets to fly good with high kV motors. And those secrets are PT 2.0 main connector, AWG 20 main cable, special ESC settings, no motor plugs, directly soldered motor cables to the board, and low pitch propellers. All these parts are crucial for a good flying experience with high kV motors and they are a, an absolute must, not a nice to have, they are a must. And of course your whoop should be as light as possible. As always in racing you want the smallest weight possible. I forgot to mention this video is for whoop racing. I think you can profit a lot if you are a whoop racer, but maybe not so much if you are a freestyle pilot. But if you are a whoop racer, you can profit a lot from my experience and my hard work and uh, my crazy, crazy amount of testing. Keep this in mind, my friends. And something else, you in whoop racing, you not only need great peak power, you also need, and that's very, very important, continuous power and low voltage sag. That's very important for a consistent fast flying and you can, most of the time you can whoop races, you can win whoop races with continuous fast flying and you, you don't need to be the fastest pilot, but you need consistency. That's my secret to be honest. And you don't need crazy flight times in whoop racing. You can fly for two minutes or two, min two minutes and two and a half minutes, but with crazy or with very good power and very good consistent power and that's it. So you you can't have highest power and five minutes flight time. That, that's just not possible today. Keep in mind my friends, all I say is just my opinion. But I'm a pro racer for quite some time now and I think you can trust me quite a bit. But in the end it's on you to test all to test everything out and to build your own opinion but give it a try that's all i say can, all i can say for real just give it a try if you need more scientific background then please please watch chris roster's videos about uh, whoop or about drone motors because his findings are correlating exactly with my findings but he is more scientific and yes, please watch his videos. Let's talk real quick about throttle control. That's a problem many pil pilots have and there is a solution. Especially for high kV motors, you need to change some settings in Betafly. You need throttle mid, throttle expo and throttle cut scale to give your throttle a better feeling and more control. But there is one very, very important thing, which is you have to fly 100 LiPos after every change or after every big change in the settings. That's very, very important. Don't change your settings and fly one or two or three LiPos and change your settings again because you think and it's not good. It's way too fast. You need, you need to give your brain 
a lot more time to adapt to the new settings. That's very, very, very important. Well, let's move on directly to my favorite Whoop motors for 75mm size. RC in power 0802 27000 kV and RC in power 1002 22000 kV. These are my favorite Whoop motors because they are very high quality. With high quality, and that's important, high quality ball bearings, double ball bearings, a PCB board to solder on the motor cables, very good main shaft or motor shaft material, as well as low internal resistance. That's also very important. Maybe you ask now why 0802 and 1002 motors? There is a simple reason for that. You can run these 0802 27000 kV motors only with a 10 amp or 12 amp rated ESC or flight controller and you can run these 1002 22000 kV motors perfectly fine with a 5 or 6 amp rated ESC or flight controller and that's the reason. Maybe you ask now why not Robo 1002 23500 kV motors? In my experience with my testing they are more like 20,000 kV. I don't know why, but they suck in my experience. So that's the reason for, for that. Now to the question, are curved magnets better than flat magnets? In theory, yes, but there are so many other factors. In this example, I prefer the RC in power motor on the left even with the flat magnets because it is a high quality motor with low internal resistance a very uh, efficient motor, more efficient motor which is very very important in racing and it is also more powerful because of high KV and this is why I prefer this motor even with the flat magnets so you can see it's not that easy Let's talk real quick about shaft material. As you can see here, the shaft material of the Happy Model motor is a little bit more grey and not as shiny as the shaft material of the RC in power motors. And this is because it is a little bit softer material. And you want not too soft material, not too hard material. It should be perfectly in the middle and this is why I like RC in power motors they have very very good shaft material and this is why you can fly even with one millimeter shaft and you won't break them as easy because they are out of a good material and this is why in general I don't like happy model motors and other motors because they have very soft or too hard shaft material. And I think it's the same with ball bearings. I'm not sure about that. The only thing I know for sure is ball bearings do have a smoother flying feel to them, but I don't know if they last longer. I think so, but I'm not sure. I think if they are high quality, they should last longer, but Maybe it's not true. I think they can get damaged in very hard crashes and if you are a crazy crasher then maybe bushings are the most or the more robust option. Lowest possible weight is of course very important in whoop racing. For example this 1.8 gram motor versus this 1.97 gram motor. But I still prefer the heavier motor in this case because of the better motor shaft material and high quality ball bearings and low internal resistance and good efficiency. This is why weight is of course important for me but not the only thing. Let's talk real quick about stator height. In this case 0802 motor on the right and 
08028 or 0803 motor on the left. But you need to compare motors in stator volume, not in diameter, so you can't compare these two motors. You need to test motors with about the same stator volume. In this case, 08028 and 1002 motor motors and in my experience the motors with the taller stator has a lot more throttle response uh, much better throttle feeling but the efficiency is not quite there i don't know why right now but maybe if you can build a motor with the same low internal resistance but with a taller stator then i think you can have the best possible motor. My favorite motors for 65mm racing whoops are 702 motors with at least 27,000 kV and Rennie motor screws or Peak motor screws. I use Rennie motor screws for 65mm whoop racing whoops or Peak motor screws and titanium motor screws for 75mm and bigger whoops.